What's up YouTube, I'm Guy, and today on the channel I am doing a little bit of a viewer response video. Somebody had asked me, after viewing a video that I did in the past, it was entitled something to the effect of uh, Rolex Submariner Alternatives Under $200, what would I recommend as alternatives to the Rolex Explorer? Well, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do that video, but I've told them I would try to put together a list for them and basically give you some of my top picks that I would think would make for excellent alternatives to the Explorer. I can't possibly keep it under $200, and while there are a lot of really good watches at that $200 price point, for me, if I'm looking for a really good alternatives to the Explorer, the price is going to go well above that in some cases. That said, my criteria for this list is a little bit loose, but the main things I'm looking for are a stainless steel construction on a stainless steel bracelet, a smooth bezel, obviously. We don't want any sort of dive time or elapsed time bezel on our watch. That doesn't go in with the theme that we're trying to get out of the Rolex Explorer. I'd also like the watches to be under 40 millimeters if possible, although in one or two small exceptions it goes over slightly. But generally, I want to capture the essence of the Rolex Explorer, not necessarily the exact styling, although in some cases they're going to be very similar. With all of that said, let's go ahead and let's jump into the list here. We'll start out first with the homage watches. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like homage watches, I get that, but I don't think that we could really do a Rolex Explorer list or alternatives list without some homage watches. So here's a few options for you. Number one, the Zeno Watch Explorer. This is probably going to be most similar to a really traditional vintage style Explorer, something like the reference number 1016. This watch comes in at 36 millimeters, which is going to be awesome for a lot of us that like smaller watches. The problem with this watch is I don't really know if it's still in production. I have seen it for sale in a few places online, and it does go for over $300 in most cases. The next option is going to be something that you're probably aware of if you've already been looking for alternatives to the Rolex Explorer. That's the Alpha Explorer, and this seems like a really good option. I don't have any first-hand experience with it, but I've heard really good things about it, especially considering the price point is a little over $100, right around $100 to $120. That watch is like 38 to 39 millimeters, so it comes under that 40 millimeter size. Clearly through and through, it is an Explorer homage watch. There's one other homage version that I saw when I was doing my research on this topic on Amazon. There is a watch that's got sort of a naked dial in terms of branding. It has the 369 motif that we find in the Rolex Explorer. It is an automatic and it comes in at a price point of about $118. So that might be another consideration for you if you're looking for a direct homage version or alternative that is relatively affordable to the Rolex Explorer. The next option is probably something that you've thought of, but maybe we're too afraid to dive into it, and I get that. It does seem a little daunting, but, you know, maybe give it a try or find somebody that can do it for you. That's going to be doing Seiko mods. You can take a Seiko 5 watch for a relatively affordable price, between $50 and $100, depending on which model you want to start as your base, and you can modify it to look like basically anything you want. If you go to the website, the company's name is Dagaz, I believe, D-A-G-A-Z, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, they have an inventory of an unimaginable amount of dials and handsets and bezels and different things to modify your Seiko watch. They have a really great looking Explorer dial, and the cool thing about doing a Seiko mod is you can make this look as much or as little like an Explorer as you want. If you just want a 369 dial, but you want to do something a little bit different with the handset, or if you want to try to find a really cool base watch that has somewhat of a different styling than the case that you might find on an actual Explorer, you can go ahead and do that. The sky is really the limit when it comes to doing Seiko mods. The next watch that I would recommend is going to be very different in terms of style, but still capture a lot of that Explorer essence, give you that feel that you're looking for, in my opinion. They're going to be Hamilton Khaki Field watches. The two models that I like the most are the Handwind Mechanical version, the new version with no date complication, a simple three-hander. Unfortunately, it's not on a bracelet. It only comes on a nylon strap, but I think that you capture that 
feeling of an explorer really well, despite the fact that it is, of course, a very traditional field watch. The next one that I really like and that I would highly recommend is the Hamilton Khaki Field Automatic 38mm. Now, that does come on a bracelet. It's a little bit more dressed up, and it does have a date complication. Keep that in mind. We're not going to find a lot of watches that are time-only three-hand analog watches like the Rolex Explorer. Most watches just come with a date complication. But I was looking for some without, and for sure I would consider that hand-wind mechanical version. Price points on these watches, I mean, they're not expensive, but you're going to be getting up into that kind of... 500 ish dollar starting to get into that mid-range price that might be a little too expensive for you but the handwind mechanical does have a price point msrp 475 dollars the automatic version 625 dollars fortunately you can find these watches for much more affordable prices online probably somewhere in the ballpark of 350 to 450 dollars so certainly not outlandish and they are high quality watches i have or have had both of these watches. I've reviewed them both. I like them both a lot. I would definitely recommend them, even if you're not looking for an alternative to the Explorer. If you're just looking for a simple, clean, everyday watch, these would be two of my picks anyway. But if you want something specifically that captures the essence of the Explorer, that's an adventure watch, an outdoor watch, a rugged watch, definitely look into the Hamilton Khaki Field line. Even if it's not one of these two, there's a number of models in their catalog that I think would fit really well. The next watch that I want to throw out there for you guys is an excellent, affordable alternative to the Rolex Explorer. Unfortunately, it was discontinued last year, so if this is a watch you're interested in, definitely get on it sooner rather than later. They are still out there, they're a little hard to find, you're probably going to be looking at second hand, but eventually they're going to dry up, the prices are going to go up. The watch we're talking about is the... Seiko Japanese Domestic Market SARG-009. In the past, I reviewed the SARG-011. It's an outstanding watch. There is a slight cosmetic difference to the dial between the one that I've reviewed and the one that we're talking about now, and it doesn't come on the same bracelet, but I was really impressed with that watch. I highly recommend it. One downside, it is a half millimeter over 40. So I was trying to keep this at or below 40 millimeters. I just couldn't do it here. I had to acknowledge this watch as an outstanding alternative to the Rolex Explorer. This watch does come on a stainless steel bracelet. It's a decent, albeit not outstanding bracelet. Uh, given my experience with Seiko bracelets in this price range, it's usually the clasp that is the shortcoming. Nevertheless, we're capturing that essence of the Rolex Explorer here, particularly when we talk about the dial. Of course, the dial on the Explorer uses the 3, 6, and 9 Arabic numerals with markers at all of the other positions. This one is sort of the polar opposite in that it has the 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12 Arabic numerals and markers at the odd positions. Nevertheless, you definitely capture that feel of the Rolex Explorer. The last ones that I'm going to suggest here are relatively expensive watches. Half the price that you're going to pay for a Rolex Explorer, brand new anyway, but nevertheless, they're not super affordable. What we're talking about are a couple of Tudor watches. First, the Tudor Black Bay 36. Another great option would be the Tudor Ranger. I personally prefer the Black Bay 36, basically because of the size and scale. That 36 millimeter case diameter really appeals to me. If you wanted something a little bit bigger, the Ranger, I believe, comes in at 41 millimeters. For a watch like this, sort of a hybrid field watch, or an adventure watch, somewhat of an understated or casual watch, I prefer the smaller size personally. That's why I favor the 36. The Ranger does have the more Explorer-like dial with the 3, 6, 9, and 12 Arabic numeral markers, and the Black Bay 36 kind of has a dive-style dial. That said, I think both would be outstanding options at price points of $28.50 or $29.50. Again, we're talking half the price of the Rolex Explorer, which comes in at $6,500 plus at retail. Definitely, I would consider these the top end of the Rolex Explorer alternatives. People are going to say probably, well, you know, at this sort of higher end luxury range, what about something like the Omega Aquaterra? More specifically, how about the Railmaster? I mean, the Railmaster comes in at a price point of about 6800 
at MSRP, if I'm not mistaken. That's no longer an alternative in my mind. That is a competitive option. And yeah, it looks like a great competitive option, but I wouldn't suggest it as an, an alternative and certainly not an affordable alternative. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this list of my five affordable Rolex Explorer alternatives, some of them more affordable than others, but all of them excellent options. I think they all capture the essence of the Rolex Explorer really well. They all fill basically the same role. They are maybe not field watches. I think that's not exactly a perfect description for the Explorer, but certainly casual, understated, excellent daily wear watches that are durable, rugged, and would make for excellent outdoor or adventure timepieces. That's what the Explorer is, and all of these watches filled that role in my mind. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and if you want to support the channel, there's always a list of ways you can help me out down in the descriptions of my videos. Number one, you could go over to my social media accounts and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Number two, I could always use more support over on Patreon. If you want to help support me over there, that would be really appreciated. Finally, if you want to support the channel without spending any of your own money, all you have to do is click on my Amazon affiliate links. If you like anything that I've reviewed and you're thinking about purchasing it, purchase it through Amazon by clicking on my link first and I get a small commission. Those commissions really do add up and they help support the channel. I honestly can't thank all of you guys that have been using them enough. Thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys will be back with me next week when I have another review video. Bye now.